Hello, my name is Noah Heineck, and this is my climb. And I went to auditions, I got a call back, and we did this sort of like devised um, movement sort of thing um, that I found really interesting. And uh, then I, there was like a few month period where uh, I just sort of did my research. I, one of my uh, previous employers at the theater I grew up um, actually worked at Climb in like the 90s or something. And so I asked him, I would talk to him about stuff. I just had a lot of resources really that sort of helped me um, find out more about Climb. And I just started getting really interested in it. And um, uh, looked at some past things that uh, we'd done and then looked at some of the stuff that, that we were doing to like adapt to all things COVID, um, which I thought was really interesting. So I, I really enjoyed um, just how much they are willing to do um, in order to create quality um, content, shall we call it, for uh, uh, young people uh, while also being pretty educational. Uh, I had sort of an idea of like what touring what it, touring would would have looked like. Then in March of last year, like just suddenly I was like, mm, it might not be the same. Um, but I was I wasn't sure what to expect. I would assumed because I they didn't give me the boot that I was like, well, they must have like something in mind. Uh, and I was assuming it was going to be some kind of Zoom thing, but I, I don't think I was expecting to, because we, we, we use uh, OBS for these like Zoom in classes. Um, I, I really wasn't expecting to have this sort of full sort of production aspect to it. Um, and I, I, uh, once that all sort of clicked, I was like, okay, I think I have an idea now. Uh, but uh, coming into this, I was like, what? I was like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. It was interesting to come into it, into a theater thing when no one else is doing theater at any point, to come in with uh, basically no expectation of what we were going to be doing. But I think one of my favorite parts uh, was there was this one student uh, who I, I, in this lesson, I asked him like, oh, what is something that you're really good at? And he raised his hand and he said, I'm really good at doing handstands. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Why do you wanna, why do you wanna learn how to do handstands? And he went, it's cause I wanna be a ninja. And I was like, that's very cool, all right. Uh, but then later in this lesson, we had, there was like a two minute section where we had them drawing. And this kid for two minutes, not for a second did he take a, did he sit down to draw? He was up in the back doing these like ninja moves. Seeing, seeing these kids live their lives, I think is, is, it's entertaining to me and also very interesting just to watch how there is nothing of like malice that they do. Nothing they do is meant to like, mm, I'm really gonna screw with this guy. It's that they're honestly like, this guy will love to see my ninja moves right now. no expectation of how this was going to work um, helped in some aspect that uh, I, when I started working here, it's changed quite a bit from what we were originally doing to what we were doing now. So I think having no real expectation helped with that because I wasn't sort of planning on anything to happen. I, I, I think I'm a pretty flexible person in general when it comes to like any sort of issue or something I'm not I don't really get like no I can't do this I usually just sort of take it in stride and move with it um so that helps me personally but uh being part of this company I think where everyone else also came in sort of with like no real idea of anything else and having uh, everyone all the other AEs be super flexible with me um it's nice having uh, Nate and Maxine, who are the 
to 80s, that uh, new uh, climb before COVID, that I'm like, that they sort of still have a perspective of what we would normally do. And that's, it sort of bleeds into what we do now. So it's sort of a, it's a, it's, a, it's sort of an interesting sort of bell curve of how everything kind of works. My climb has been a roller coaster of creativity. Uh, donate to Climb Theater to help others on their climb.